and today my hair is insane. Okay. Mm. But apparently the only books that don't have romances are thrillers. Who would have thought? It's, 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 Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey and it's now run by Sam over at Thoughts on Tome so I'll leave both their links down below so you guys can check it out and I'll also leave the Goodreads group down below so you guys can check out the topics and whatnot if you want to join us. So today's topic is the top 5 books without romance in them. Which is actually so hard. I was looking at my shelf and like I took a very long time actually picking books that didn't have romance. It's like a difficult topic. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first book that I have is If You Find Me by Emily Murdoch and this book has no romance in it. It's about two sisters who were abducted by their mother and they were left in the forest by their mother and then their father ends up finding them. He ends up bringing them to live with him and that's when the two sisters have to adjust to their new lives and then a secret comes out. And I used to rave about this book all the time on my channel in like 2015 when I first started. I love this book. I don't think there's any romance whatsoever. It's like a mystery kind of thing. And the big secret that gets revealed, you don't see it coming, and it's just really thrilling and it keeps you on the edge of your seat. So I recommend this book if you haven't read it already. It's, it's pretty good. The next book that I have is a book that I talked about on my channel religiously, like pretty much every single video after I read it, I talked about it. That book is Daddy by PJ Ferguson. This is like a crime thriller, mystery, type of book. It follows a man named Joe Williams who is in jail for a crime that he didn't actually commit and he's trying to figure out who actually committed the crime and it's kind of the story of the justice system and him trying to figure this crime out. I was actually sent this by the author himself and he's one of the sweetest people I've ever gotten a chance to communicate with. He also wrote the first which I also loved. It's a really interesting book. It keeps you on the edge of your seat like the last book does and I just really enjoyed it. I think that it's a very underrated book. Not a lot of people have ever heard of this book. Anytime I would talk about it everyone was like oh it sounds good but then I would never hear them actually talk about it so pick it up on Amazon. I know that it gets sold there and it's really good so you should read it. The next book that I have I also have raved about it for a very long time on this channel. It is Speak by Lori Hulse Anderson. There's no romance in it. I think that it's such an important story. It's about a girl named Melinda who during the beginning of her freshman year she ends up breaking up the end of this summer party so everybody hates her when she goes into school that year. It's her story about why she broke up the party and what actually happened to her that night and I think it's such an amazing story and I think that it deserves all the hype that it gets from the people who have actually read it. It's so good. And you'll need to read it. That's going to be the theme of this video. Read all the books that I'm telling you to read, okay? Thank you. The next book that I have is called Reconstructing Amelia by Kimberly McCrae. And I've also raved about this a million times on my channel. All of these books are from like 2015 when I first started my channel. Apparently I didn't like romance then. This book is about a mother who gets a phone call from her daughter's school saying that her daughter jumped off of the roof and that she needs to come down immediately. The only thing is is that the mother believes that her daughter would never do that and something else must have happened so she goes down to the school to figure out exactly what happened to her daughter. It keeps you on the edge of your seat the entire time. I highly recommend this book. It's an adult book as well so like if you're not into the YA scene there's your recommendation for this video. Ooh. And then my final book that I'm picking for my No Romance Top 5 Wednesday is Flawed by Cecilia Hearn. There is a little bit of romance in it at the beginning. There's more of a focus on Celestine's story and the flawed system of government in this book rather than the romance so there is a little bit of a mention of it but more of a focus on other things. I love this book. I ended up reading it on audiobook which I highly recommend because they do like different voices and it's like real good. So if you get the chance to listen to this on audiobook, highly recommend. Alright guys, so that was my top five Wednesday for this week. It was actually a difficult topic so like if you guys want to leave me suggestions down below for books without romance I would I would appreciate it because I don't really have any that I've read so. We'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!